Good day viewers. So today we are going to see a structural analysis of aluminum clamp. Okay, so the image in front of you that is an alum, that is of an aluminum clamp. It is subjected to a rotational force of 14 kN at the free end. Okay, at the center, uh, let me read out the problem along the center axis with all the degree of freedom set to zero. That's a constraint. And then a bowl force of 45 kN is to be considered for analysis. Of course, there is a hole you can see near that split that that bowl force will act. And then this is the properties they have given all properties of a aluminium material because they have mentioned it. It's an aluminium clamp. Now let us see how to do this analysis in ANSYS workbench. Okay, so for that, what I what I have done now, I have drawn this component in Creo, and then I am having it as a SAT file. Okay, so I am I am going to import it to ANSYS workbench environment, and then we'll start uh, working out each and every steps. So I will explain you very clearly. Okay, so once you get into ANSYS workbench, so this is the GUI of ANSYS workbench. Okay, so you can see project synatic. In that we have to load static structural that is our uh, analysis today. Okay, so once you load this, all you have to do double click, that's all. It will come to project synatic. Okay, the entire thing, that is why it's called workbench. It is called workbench because you know as I told you, all the tools are available. All you have to go, go to workbench and uh, take all the tools, work out and then do analysis. That's all. So now you have seven steps. If you have completed all the seven steps, you are done. Okay, let me go about one by one. So le first let us take engineering data. Double click. Okay, engineering data will open. So in, uh, in default, you can see structural steel is there, but you don't want structural steel for this problem. You need aluminum. So for that, what you have to do? Okay, so there is a page called engineering data source. You press that page, just a selection, left mouse button alone will do. Then, if in, good, in general materials, okay, in general materials, you can see, all the general materials will open up in the open up in the second thing, and then for add, just add that aluminium alloy. That's all. Now you have a book-like thing, okay, an icon available near what aluminium alloy. So that will do. That is enough. Now you come to okay. So that is enough. Okay. So now you can. Uh, you can also change units. Okay, you can also change units. Initially, it is in metric uh, kilogram meter per second. Okay, so if you are fine with that, you can have it. Let it be. Right. Okay, so once you have done, once you have done this, you can come out of what? The engineering data. Just pr by pressing this thing. Okay, so data is available. If you want, you can see one more time. If you get into engineering data, you have now you have two materials. One is the default material, st structural steel. The other one is the aluminium alloy. So close it. Okay. Then we have to go to geometry. Geometry, there are a lot of uh, options available. You can draw it in ANSYS workbench itself. Okay. So it will open up space climb. Okay. So the options are there. We, in fact, uh, in our uh, future exercise, we may work. We may create models in space climb. In fact, I will I will post a video about topology optimization, where I will do create the component in space climb itself. Now, since I have told you that I have already drawn that model in Creo, okay. So let me go, press this geometry button, and then right click. Okay. So there will be a pop up menu. I have done it already. You will get a pop up menu. In that, you can go to import geometry and then here you have that uh, clamp file. Okay, so you can have it in uh, that is IGES or SAT, anything. Okay, so I am very comfortable with SAT file. So, so let me select this clamp. 
Okay, so you can see, you might have noticed, once I once I have done in a, each step, you will get a green color right tick. Okay, now you go to model thin. Okay, and then double click. Then it is starting mechanical. You can see this is this is any like any other software. This is where your interface is. You have an interface with what the uh, software. So it says starting mechanical. So it will open up mechanical. So we have to do so many things on that. So let us wait. It will open up. Okay. So we have done two steps so far. Waiting for the uh, as per this. Okay. Third step. We are waiting for third step. Actually, there are six steps only. So the mechanical GUI you can see. Okay. So you got that component. So the co component what you saw there in your what uh, word file, the same doc component is there in front of you as a 3D model. Now the very first thing what you have to do, you have to select appropriate material. Okay, you have to press the geometry and then clamp. Now you can see instead of uh, this material, instead of structural steel. Okay, you have to select what? Aluminium alloy. Very, very important. Let me tell you one more time. Okay, so first you have to go there. In geometry, clamp, material. Here you have to change it. Because we have two materials. One is the default uh, structural steel is already there. So that is aluminium. So that is done. Next one is, a lot of things are uh, have been told about mesh. Okay, so initially we will go by default mesh and then I will tell you other things. Okay, so let us go for a default mesh. Okay, all you have to press the right mouse button. This pop-up menu will come. You just give generate mesh. So meshing is happening. You will see. Okay, so this is a coarse mesh. A coarse mesh is done. Suppose if you want fine mesh, now you can do. What what you have to do now? For, uh, you have to press mesh. Okay, and then uh, in sizing, you can go to, instead of uh, coarse, you can select what? Fine mesh or medium. So, let us try medium first. Medium. So, you have done it. Now, you have to update. Whenever you change something, you have to update. Okay. So, you have to update. Then, you go for what? That is, the meshing will be done. You can see. Okay. You can see the mesh. Right, you can also do what? A fine mesh. You can also do a fine mesh. I'll show you. Okay, so this is the mesh you are able to see. This is for what? A medium. You can do a fine mesh also. I'll show you. Now it is fine. Now you go and generate mesh. Now you can see the mesh. You can see this is the fine mesh. Okay. So we FEA principles, you know, finite element analysis. Okay. So we are going to divide the domain into uh, n number of uh, finite elements. Okay, so it's an approximate uh, numerical method only. More the number of elements, okay, you, the answer will go to what? It will uh, reach us the exact solution. Okay, so if you are comfortable with uh, fine mesh, let us have it like that. Then, two things are very important. One is the boundary condition, other one is load. So, let us see. Okay, for boundary condition, and here you can see, I am going to all uh, right mouse button only. Only for selection, I will use left mouse button. Okay. So, you, have, you select displacement. Okay. So, it is asking you where, where the, because we have to constrain this surface. So, I have selected that surface. You can see the inner surface and then you apply. Okay. So, that will become what uh, the displacement will be arrested. Okay. 
So if you, I'll do one, do it one more time. Static structural, you can show, you can give, see, insert, fixed support. Okay, fixed support. Select this surface and then give apply. That's all. Okay, so or else you can fix the displacement to zero. That is not necessary. You can instead you go for what fixed support. So fixed support you have done. Then okay, you come to this environment. Okay, and then if you press your uh, sorry one minute. All you have to do. Okay, for rotating, you have to use the middle mouse button. Okay, now you can see, it is like a cantilever beam, fixed at one end, that is inner surface we have constrained. And then here we have to apply pressure. Normally, you have to apply only pressure. Okay, so that is very important. Okay, so we are here we are going, have calculated the pressure value, which is 1 Newton per mm squared. Okay, so you, if you are comfortable, you, units also you can fix uh, metric uh, millimeter uh, kg newton. So this is comfortable. So uh, with that, I'll go there. In static structural, you can go insert pressure. Okay, so you apply pressure here. It is asking the value. It is one, and then uh, you have to apply it. So you can see. It is there in the red color. Okay, one end is fixed, other end you are applying pressure. And then you can apply bolt pressure also here, but uh, for that I need to draw some additional features. Okay, so we can ignore this in this exercise. Okay, so we will do it in the subsequent exercise. Okay, once you have done this, now you tell me what are all the things you want. So we are interested in finding out. Uh, uh, stress that is 1 minus stress equivalent 1 minus stress and then obviously you want to find out what deformation because deformation is the primary variable once you have primary variable then only you will have what other variables and all because stress is a secondary variable okay so once you have done this you go there and then you give what solve so now the analysis will be solved and then you will be given answers okay so you will get the answers immediately right you can see the analysis is going on so it, it is taking a lot of time guess why because we have given fine mesh now so that is why it has taking a lot of time then you go and see equal and stress the values okay so equivalent stress value this much mega pascal is there the maximum stress is somewhere here okay near that uh, fillet region and then you can see your uh, total deformation okay it's very less total deformation is there okay so that is how you have to do analysis like uh, you can see you can also do animation for example you can see the animation right uh, a typical enlarged view it's an enlarged view similarly you can put see for deformation also okay the enlarged view you can see okay so we have done a basic analysis using uh, ansys workbench today then you can also you can just uh, explore you can also explore various features available here especially this one okay so you can also probe like uh, you can wherever you go the values of uh, for example now we are in equal and stress so you can find out once you probe okay you will get the values of stresses wherever you, you place your cursor right so that is one thing probe then you can also find out what maximum and minimum stress it will be indicated maximum you can see and minimum stresses are indicated like that you can uh, find out okay so a basic analysis in ansys have been uh, carried out okay
basic uh, static structural analysis of uh, aluminium clamp in ANSYS workbench done. Okay, so in the next video, I will show you the uh, after drawing that feature, I will show you how to apply the bolt pressure also, and then we'll explore the answers also. Okay, we have to explore answers by suitable hand calculation. We have to validate the answers what we get through answers as well as what from hand calculation. So, see you in the next video. Thank you.